Hi there, this video is about the calculation of producer surplus by using integrals. Let's take an example. Here we are considering a firm which is producing computers and it has a cost function which is as follows. And the producer has planned to produce 12 computers to meet the market demand. We are to find out the producer surplus if the market price is 270. Now this is the given data that we can extract and with the help of this data we can be uh, capable of finding the producer surplus so this is the cost function and here we calculate the marginal cost function by using the derivative of the cost function so this is something that we have been doing before uh, the calculation gives us the marginal cost which is equal to this and now we can consider this uh, marginal cost function as the supply curve because as per the theory we know that it is equivalent to the supply curve. So this is the supply curve that we are looking for because on the basis of this supply curve and the equilibrium point which is already mentioned that the equilibrium output is 12 and the price is 270. So using this information we can find out the producer surplus which is the area above the curve and below the equilibrium price. And this is the area under the curve and this basically is showing the unwanted area Combining these two areas, we get the actual revenue, which is the product of the price and the output. So we can transform this information in the form of this formula. And this formula is that this triangle R P status E is equal to the difference of the square, this rectangle, precisely speaking, and this trapezoid. This is the trapezoid. So the uh, explanation is there O R E Q S status and the rectangle is O P S status E Q S status. Now we can uh, find out these values simply this is the rectangle so length into width is the formula of it. The uh, width is 12 and the length is 270 and when we talk about this trapezoid it is actually the area under the curve which can be found with the help of integrals it is between 0 and 12. So this becomes the lower limit and this becomes the upper limit and this is the integral of the marginal cost curve which in other words is the supply curve. This is the information that we found by taking the derivative of the cost function. Now this is marginal cost function or the supply function. So the calculations can be done from now on. This is the result of the uh, rectangle and this is the result of the integration. This, these are the lower and upper limits. Once the integration is done, we apply the upper and lower limits here. And finally, by solving this, you can pause the video and see the calculations. We will get this uh, rectangle triangular area, which is showing the producer surplus, which is 2040, and which is the difference of the actual revenue, the rectangle, and the area under the curve, which is 1200. So once we calculate the difference, we get the producer surplus and it will take place if 12 units are produced and the market price is 270 units. So by using the integrals we have found the producer surplus and this was the diagrammatical and formula oriented inter uh, interpretation and this was the given information that we used to find the producer surplus by using the integrals. Thank you.